hello guys so in this video we will be going to see how we can host flask api on aws lambda so the idea is usually you can host flask app on ec2 but if your application have very less load or very less users uh, it is not cost effective to pay the cost for an ec2 instance it would be better if you can host it on aws lambda so for this purpose aws provide in python library which is aws gi so this library basically allows you to sort of give you a method to host flask app or web applications on aws lambda using web server gateway interface so uh, now we will see how we can how we can achieve this so i already i already written a very basic app in flask uh, just to test this functionality so i have here imported this import the flask from flask and jsonify i have created an app then after I have created three route, the one is at slash, the one is at slash version and after the slash profile and uh, uh, yeah those are the three routes and kind of I am running, this is for running running it on a local. So if I run this file, so it says your development server has been started. So if I go here, so kind of this is the slash route. So here I have been returning message OK and status 200. So we got this. Then after we have slash version. So now we got version 1.000 and then after slash profile. Okay. So now this this Flask app is working on local fine. Now let's see how we can host it on the AWS Lambda. So what we will going to do is like we will going to use this library. So what it says is first you need to install the library using pip install aws hyphen wsci then after you just modify two lines in the code the first one is you need to import aws gi so i will add this here my bad yeah imported it here and then after it says for the lambda handler you just need to write this line so for kind of like uh, i will um, add so this this like uh, this is for the local execution but this will work going to work for lambda so what it, it is saying is any event or context coming in aws lambda kind of it is transforming this event for uh, to be so that it could be worked with the flask okay so i have copied this code then after i will go to the aws lambda i will create a new function name it as flask app i will select python as the version then after keeping all the configurations as default so a good part about this serverless lambda will be like it will not take a, a, like much time to create this function it will be very fast and cost effective as well so yeah so this flask app has been created i will go to the console like the code section and paste the code here and now if i say i can remove this as, as well like the reason being is it is only for local right so uh, I will deploy this code okay so if you see like by default uh, AWS Lambda don't have this AWS GI and Flask uh, uh, like Python libraries so I already uh, like created a layer for this purpose like this is a usual functionality you can create this layer as well so you need to specify the ARN for that purpose I will go into the layer section so I have this flask uh, lambda layer I will copy the ARN and add the ARN here so in this layer basically I have a two I have added two libraries the first one is flask and the another one is AWS GI so the python install flask installation is very usual like pip install flask and for installing this AWS GI you can use this command pip install AWS hyphen WS GI and then after zip it and upload it to the AWS console so now I have uh, added and I will add it Yeah, so now our AWS Lambda function is ready. Now for exposing this API, we need API Gateway as well. So let's open API Gateway in a new tab. Then after, I will create a new API. So we need, I think, REST API. REST API. Okay, so I will select this new API. API name, I will set Flask app. 
yeah so this api has been created so first i will going to create a new uh, method so if what kind of we are saying is like for which type of request we so i will select here any like if any of the method is coming what i wanted to do is like i want to like transform that request to the aws lambda so i will select it as in here flask app so and click on this use lambda proxy integration so what what is this use lambda proxy integration is any request coming to the api gateway will be transformed to the aws lambda same as it is like it will not change any anything in the path or any anything like that so if you are hitting slash user slash logs slash xyz then after the same path will be uh, we will get in the aws lambda as well okay so here i have like ticked this proxy integration first and second one is i have selected this lambda function and i will click on save yeah so like this is for slash route but if we have any sub route as well i will going to create a new resource and then after again configure as a proxy resource and then after create it and select the same lambda function so it is for the uh, any sub routes if we have like slash user slash post then this sub route will be going to work okay so now we have configured the api gateway now i will going to deploy this api i will create a new stage name it as dev and then deploy it yeah so now invocation url is ready for us yeah so we got the like if you see we got this uh, first message basically on the slash we have status is equal to 200 message is equal to okay now let's see this version as well so we have got version and even if we go into the pro like check this profile so this this is also already working so i hope you like this video if you have any question or feedback for me please post it down in the comment section and if you like this video please do subscribe to the channel thank you